All right, folks, Saturday morning. Yeah, cut my freaking hair because I started to feel like a woman. Yeah, didn't want to look like a commie lib. I'm here to tell you. Anyhow, I uh, got a couple mail calls here. And remember the old 80s boombox? <laughs> yeah. Well, if you remember, I kind of discovered, discovered what was wrong with it. Okay. You got a bad potentiometer in there. It's probably burned out, but I think the little swipers broke. So, what I'm going to do for the very first time in my life is learn how to desolder those six pins, okay? And then these uh, these two big ones. So I bought some tools to do that. I watched a lot of videos on how to do it. It looks pretty simple. And uh, so. I have ordered my very first toolkit. All right, which doesn't surprise me. Came into a thousand pieces, and things sort of fell out of out of place. But it's a series of tools: soldering iron. There's the suction deal to suck them things out. To suck the little. Uh, uh, solder joints out uh, as you heat them up so we can remove that that switch safely okay comes with a bunch of tips some solder a couple other nickel and dime parts and some different tools uh, so I'm kind of excited about it and learn how to, how to how to repair some circuit boards so that's what that's for and when the time is right we're gonna play with it and check it out so there's that there's that. Relatively inexpensive too, I'm pretty surprised. So, we got another big box here from California. You get it up on the table, up on the bench. I'm hoping this is the, uh, I hope this is my parts chassis. So let's just check it out and see. Because you know, I'm feeling kind of nostalgic. I want this radio to work. Although this box does not appear to be the right size box for that. I hate when people fill stuff with popcorn, man. Even though I understand the intent. Alright, this stuff's sticking all over me, man. Just give me a minute. Where's my vacuum cleaner? Here we go. It's not working. Hey, you turn that on. All right, that was a stupid idea. I'm going to get you out of here without making a huge mess. Here's how you do it. Use the old box. Let's try this. Parts. And guess what? Nice, smooth, rolling knobs. I don't feel any dragging. Okay. So, we're going to pull this circuit board out after I test it. If this thing works, I'm simply going to swap them out and get that nice, beautiful one back there working. Okay. So, yeah, this thing's been through hell and back. Speakers look horrible. Who knows? Probably got wet. All right, that's it for the mail call. We're gonna get this thing working probably this evening. Cause I'm working on my truck. So stay tuned. 
and you better be out working on your Jeeps as well. Yeah. All right, so the old 80s boom box. Um, I tested out the circuit board with all the potentiometers out of the old one, and the volume control seems to work just fine. So I went ahead and bolted that in. I'm not going to do any special uh, removals of anything, but what I do have to do is re-solder this antenna piece to the circuit board. And I will do that from underneath, right there. And basically I'm just going to take this gun, and I should just be able to have to heat that up and cause the solder to remelt back in there. So we'll see if that holds up. All right, more to follow. <laughs> All right, folks, I didn't have to change out the uh, the uh, potentiometer uh, for the volume control. All I did was swap out the entire the entire uh, circuit board. The other one plugged in just fine. Before I did that, I kind of blew things out and got the dust off of it. Check it out. Good. Just heard that song at number 19 on the countdown. All the, all the controls work. Morning show. The Wake Wake Up Show on Wink 104. Yeah. Listen to that sound. 1980s boombox, man. off let's see if the record function works the request lines are now open here at Watson's wagons I didn't have the switch on properly. Let's try it again. The request lines are now open at Watson's Wagons. The request lines are now open at Watson's Wagons. It works! <laughs> That's it, folks. Since Facebook kicked me off, uh, won't allow me to do videos for six months, we're going to do all of our mail calls and stuff on cassette deck. We'll mail them out to everybody, and you get to listen to them on your old vintage radio. Not. Anyhow, how cool is this, folks? It works. Now is the time to treat yourself to... So maybe this... Uh-oh, copyright infringement, because I'm listening to the radio. Yeah. 